Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my home here in Livingston, Montana. Okay, today's date is the 17th of August of 2022, and what I'm going to be doing here is a review, a knife review, on this particular knife right here. Now, I know on my channel I've said before that I'm getting out of the knife business, and I manage. <laughs> you know, this is, like I say, this is going to be a real informal review on this great big huge monstrous knife and that's all there is to it i realized that in my collection i've got a lot of smaller knives a lot of pocket knives and stuff like that but i didn't have any great big folders so i bought me a buck uh selkirk and then i've got this guy right here which we're going to do an informal review starting right about now very well, here we go with this very informal review on this particular piece right here. Now, there's a little bit of a backstory I got to get into for just a second here. Cold Steel is a company that I'm very familiar with. I've owned several of their products. They mostly make defensive type knives, fighting knives, and stuff like that. Well, I got news for you. I'm a big believer in, you know, whatever you do, don't bring a knife to a gunfight, so to speak. I'm just kidding about that, but some of you catch on to what I'm saying. But anyway, this company here sold out. They sold out to somewhere in Texas. I don't know, some outfit I'm kind of not familiar with. And when they first put this knife out, it was just a four max. And it was around four, three hundred and fifty to four hundred dollars because it had lots of different material in it. That's in this cheaper version right here. This version right here, I picked up on Amazon for sixty-four dollars and forty-four cents, shipped to the door. And believe you me, if you if you want to get one of these knives, I just go ahead and get one because I have an idea that they're going to be out of production one day. I'm just guessing. I don't really know. Okay, let's read a little bit on this box right here. Four inch blade, 10 inch overall, Oz 10A steel. It weighs 10.2 ounces. It's a pretty heavy piece. The thickness is 4.8 millimeters. Don't ask me to do the conversion. I was terrible with math. The handle, it's got a six inch Grivex. That's Grivery, by the way. Uh, Grivex handle on it. So anyway, let's get to looking at this thing and stop burning daylight. Okay, I just got this yesterday. Of course, I've, I've looked this over real well, and no doubt I'll, I'll miss some of the specs. Because, like I say, this is just in real informal. Do I like this knife right off the get-go? Yeah, I do. It seems to me like it's really well built. And like I say, I've had some experience with uh, cold steel stuff, and they usually build st knives and stuff like that that doesn't look so good, but the, usually the pieces are pretty doggone heavy duty, you know. Now, there's one thing when I was watching all these movie files that nobody ever did, and I was bound to determine to get this done. Okay, this is um, a little over two inches across here, tall wise or whatever have you, and lengthwise, I know doggone well we're talking somewhere around six inches or so. And then through the back of this, what are we doing here? Five-eighths of an inch or something like that. Of course, it's got a, a lot of people are hollering about this clip. A lot of people don't like this clip because they say it tears up pants. I, that isn't going to bother me because I have, right as we talk, somebody is building a, a, a holster for me. For this particular knife right here, I'm going to wear it on my side, not stuff it in my pocket, okay? But as you can see here, Grivex on this, on Grivex, Grivery or whatever, on these handles, on these scales, and it's kind of sandpapery like, not real bad. It kind of reminds me of, of you know, sandpaper, if you will. And, and one thing I got to say about this piece is the the... It's very comfortable. That's one thing I noticed right off the get-go. A lot of these new modern knives are all bumpy and weird. And like I've said many times on my channel before, I really don't like where the the cutlery businesses go and the cutlery industry. But this is one knife that popped up that if you need a well-built, heavy-duty, real strong knife, I for, for 70 bucks or so, I'd be giving this a little look-see, you know. Okay, and it's got that triad, famous triad lock right here. It's a 
It's a great big hook-like system that hooks into this blade, and they have done tests on this knife, and they, they've, they've tested this uh, locking mechanism. They've hung 600 pounds. This knife has been able to take 600 pounds of weight before it's folded in or the lock has failed and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's got big jimping right here. Like I say, it's very, very comfortable, even with this clip on here. You know, I don't feel a hot spot here. I feel like I could work with this knife all day long. No problems at all. Now, I forget what this blade is right here. I think it's, it's uh, let's see, 0 0.18 inches thick or 1.9, something like that. And, you know, like I was saying before, this is Oz 10A. It's a 4-inch blade. Uh, right in here, the grind on this guy is a flat grind, not a full flat grind because, you know, it's got this, this you know, this lining right here, if you will, or this grind line. Uh, this has got a swedged blade up here. A lot of, I've, I've seen a few reviewers hollering about that. I don't know why. And it's, you know, it's got a drop point. It's got a pretty thick tip. I don't think you're breaking that tip none too soon. Like I say, this is a big, heavy-duty, outdoors-type knife, you know, and I would absolutely recommend this, you know, to somebody that's wanting something like this. But if you don't want a great, big, hairy knife, this probably isn't it. And this backspacer right here, this is Grivex 2, same material as this, you know. And stainless steel liners in there, full, line, full liners are not cut out, punched out for you know, weight differential and all that kind of stuff. Uh, on the inside of here, there are Teflon and bronze phosphorus washers on each side, you know. So I could see them in there, but I doubt this camera is going to pick any of this up. Let me see if I can see if I can get that right there. Yeah, you can, if you look real close, you can see that bronze right there. Look real close. Bronze plus Teflon or nylon, whatever they got in there. And like I say, this tri-lock, uh, triad lock, whatever they call it, this is pre some pretty tough stuff. So, well, there you are. I don't know what else to say about this. If you need a great, big, heavy-duty, strong knife, that's what I'm trying to get across here. I, I, I probably wouldn't hesitate to buy this especially under the $100 mark. But, you know, take my word for it. It's big and heavy, weighs 10 ounces, so there you are with all that. Well, uh, okay, I'm, I want to make this video short. I don't want to go on and on and on, but it meets my approval. Thank you very much, and we shall... Well, I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> no, I, I'll just... Let me have you look at it this way. I, I try to turn these knives around every which way you can when I do this stuff. But like I say, I'm this. I'm really not in the knife business anymore, but what you see is what you get here. Okay, very well. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, and we shall see you on down the trail. And adios, my friends.